Today, we're installing a spoiler on our 2021 Tesla Model Y. Hey guys, I'm JQ Louise. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're installing a spoiler on our Tesla Model Y, but if you're new to the channel, we do lots of fun things. We picked up our car in March, we show our delivery, we install accessories, and we do lots of fun road trips. So definitely check out our links below. But for now, let's go unbox this spoiler. All right, so we ordered this spoiler on Amazon. The link is below. So it came in a normal Amazon box, super light. There are lots of different colors that you can order. We got matte black, which I'm excited to see what it looks like. There's also a fake carbon and a gloss black. But for the Model Y, I think the matte black looks the best because that's kind of matches all the trim that we have on the car, including how we plasti dip the logo and the um you know the trim and the door handles are matte black so that's why we went with matte black but i'll leave the link below and you'll see that you know there are the other color options as well so let's open this and see what it looks like all right so let's take this out so it's just in an amazon box so this is how it comes shipped so one thing that i want to kind of point out is that over here, this is something that you want to keep. This is adhesion promoter that helps it stick to the car. All right, so let's open this. It looks like it's wrapped pretty nicely, so I'm sure it's in good shape, but let's open it and see how it looks. All right, so this thing is taped up pretty well. Um, has lots of foam over it, so. All right, so here's the spoiler. So see, we went with the matte black. It looks like it's in good shape. Um, but one thing I am noticing is that it has tape on both sides of the spoiler. So let's take a closer look at this thing. So there are a lot of different Tesla Model Y and Model 3 spoilers online. This one is from Baysnor on Amazon. It costs about $120. Um, so, you know, not super premium, but for the price, we figured we'd try it. And, you know, there are a few differences between this one and other spoilers. One big one is where they apply the tape. So in here, you can see that it's on the top and bottom portions. We've seen in other brands, they have more of a lip on the interior where it's not fully hollow. So the tape is on that lip on the middle. So this is a little bit different and we may actually remove this tape that it came with and install our own 3M tape, which is a little more uh, durable and premium of a double-sided tape. So we're gonna take a look at that next, but for now, why don't we test fit this and just see how it looks on the car. So to test fit this, we recommend measuring, you know, from either side of the car and putting some painter's tape on there so you can line this up so it's centered on the trunk of the car. So the wider end goes on the top, the skinnier end goes on the bottom because that's what angles it up. So honestly, in terms of the color and the finish, it looks really nice, especially for the price. It matches the matte finish on the logo. So I'm really glad we went with the matte finish rather than the gloss or the carbon. I think this looks really clean. You know, our goal for this car has been just to keep it nice and clean, sleek, you know, we really like the black and the white look. So happy with the look, but let's see, um, let's get a little more specific with this test fit and we'll measure on either side. All right, so the next step is to align this and test fit it. So to do that, you'll want to grab some blue painter's tape to mark off, you know, the even edge on each side. So we're gonna measure and then we'll just kind of line it up, see how it looks and then mark it with some painter's tape.
All right, so we marked a reference point. This doesn't have to be in the center necessarily, but we marked it so that when we put it on the car, we know exactly where to push on. We'll start from the center, work our way to the edge. So once we have our reference point, we're going to do some prep work to make sure the paint's ready to adhere to this. But the first thing we're doing is obviously test fitting and then inspecting the tape. So the tape goes right up to the edge. Um, some other brands have used 3M tape. We bought the 3M tape to have. You know, this tape looks like it's okay. Um, it's on pretty good. I'm hesitant to remove this. It goes right into the corners. The corners are very important. Um, and like uh, JQ said earlier, some spoilers actually have a molded part here. So they only put one part of piece of tape in the middle and that connects to this part rather than the top and the bottom. I would probably have liked that design a little bit better, but um, I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna stick with this tape. We're not gonna put our own 3M tape on. We do have 3M uh, adhesion promoter, which we're going to use. It does come with adhesion promoter, but it can't hurt to use both. Um, and now we're going to prep the surface. So as you know, this car is coated um, with a sealant, so it's technically sealed. And what we're going to do is we're going to use um, Gion Prep, which is pretty much isopropyl alcohol mix. Um, you could use isopropyl alcohol diluted with water. We're gonna go with that mix. We're going to strip pretty much the sealant on this edge, make sure the car was already washed yesterday, so we're in good shape there. And then we're going to put the adhesion promoter, peel the tape off, and align it and stick it on. All right, so the car was washed yesterday, so the car is relatively clean, but as you know, there's a sealant on the paint. And so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna make sure that we remove the sealant along this edge where it's going to bond and adhere to the, the tape, the double-sided tape. So there's a couple ways you can go. You can get isopropyl alcohol. Um, this is very, very strong. You need to be very careful with it on the paint. Or you could use Gion Prep, which is a wax and grease remover. This is what we use in the decontamination process and, and when we're actually polishing the car. This is pretty much isopropyl alcohol, it's diluted. So when you do use this, you'd wanna dilute this with nice, um, with water, make sure that you're not harming the paint, but doing enough to remove everything. You could also use wax and grease remover like if you were going to go paint the car. So we're probably gonna use this. We're going to apply it um, nicely on the edge and we're gonna use a microfiber to wipe it off. We're gonna make sure that this is naked paint and ready to adhere properly. All right, so here's the adhesion promoter that came with the spoiler, and we bought some 3M adhesion promoter off Amazon. Um, this comes in a three pack, they're both wipes. What's interesting is this says that you need to ensure that the surface is clean, no water, no oils. It then says tear open the bag, take out the wipe, uh, wipe the surface clean, wait a few seconds, and then paste the tape, and then squeeze. So. We're gonna use the 3M stuff. Um, they come in a little bit bigger bags and can't hurt. Although we've seen other people use the supplied base nor. Very, very similar. So we're gonna open the bag. Bag rips in the middle. You know, I'm gonna get gloves. All right, so we are gonna use the 3M. It tears on the side, but for good safety, we're gonna put on some gloves. All right. Whoa, did not expect that. It is a yellow foam sponge. And it smells. Okay. We're going to put this along the edge. Definitely glad I'm wearing gloves. So I'm going to peel the tape now. Some people align on one end and then push. 
some people stick it on and then start pulling the tape, but we're gonna go this way. As you can see, once you peel the tape off, there's really no going back. This spoiler is tricky to actually install because there's tape on the top and the bottom of the spoiler. The best way to do it is to start in the middle and start applying even pressure from the middle outwards. But also, I'd go further to say that you should start with the top of the spoiler rather than the bottom because since it is not molded exactly to the shape of the trunk, you know, it is a curved piece on a curved trunk. So start with the top and just work your way from the center to the outside and then do the same on the bottom. All right, so this is the finished product. We're really happy with the color. I think it looks really nice, and honestly, it looks a lot more premium than it is. As you guys could see, it was a little bit difficult securing it down and getting it, you know, making sure that both sides of the tape adhered to the car. Um, but, you know, after, you know, fiddling with it, it worked out great, honestly. So pretty easy. Now we're going to attach a lot of painter's tape on here because it does need to sit for two to three days so that the tape can fully adhere to the car and just so it can basically cure. So one thing that we recommend is putting the tape pretty long like this. I've seen some other people online do it really short, like maybe only to here or something, but I think you get so much more leverage when you, you know, do it a little bit longer. So as long as you have a new roll of painter's tape, this should be no problem. Um, but make sure that you do use painter's tape because any other stronger tape like duct tape or anything like that could damage your car. So it's kind of a no brainer, but just keep that in mind. Make sure you use only painter's tape. All right, so we're gonna just compare to see what the adhesion promoter in the packet would have looked like. So, compared to that yellow foam sponge, this is what comes in the uh, packet. It's a little white cloth. It smells very similar. I'm sure this could also do the job, but I don't know. It's worth getting the 3M stuff because we thought we might be using the 3M. Uh, if you do get it, it's 3M VHB tape. Um, it's made for a special application. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this spoiler install on the Model Y. We're really happy with the results. I'm so happy we went with the matte black. It looks really nice and matches all of the other trim on the car. So the link to this Baysnor spoiler for the Model Y is in the description below. It's from Amazon and it looks like it's only about $100 right now, which is awesome. So definitely check that out and also check out our other videos if you're interested in Tesla Model Y content. This is our 2021 Tesla Model Y and we're absolutely loving it. Definitely check us out. Be sure to subscribe and like this video for lots more Tesla content.